Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen uh, Not Included. In this video I would like to present you with a uh, method uh, to make use of a cool steam vent. Now the cool steam vent uh, emits steam at 110 degrees Celsius and that is not a very good temperature to deal with. And that is because um, the steam turbine only works at 125 degrees uh, or even above. So you cannot uh, directly attach a steam turbine to the cool steam vent. So this basically leaves you two um, options. The first method would be to uh, put some additional heat into the steam that is produced by the cool steam vent to further heat it up. For instance, uh, you could also place batteries in this room or any other consu consumer that doesn't produce excess gases. So the room only contains of steam. And the second method, and that is going to, de going to be the one I'm going to present here, uh, is by directly cooling down the steam so it converts to cooler water and you can make use of the water afterwards. Now how do I do that? Mm, I've basically created two rooms here. The bottom room, room is the one with the cool steam vent and this room is permanently uh, cooled down by the aqua tuner which is placed in the other room. You can see in both rooms you have basically only uh, water or steam in gas form and to make use of the steam which is created by the aqua tuner I use a steam turbine to yeah, cool down the steam room and also make some electrical energy from it. Just gonna show you the cooling loop for now. I'm using polluted uh, water here. Of course, um, if you have access to super coolant, you should use that liquid. But in this case, I'm just going with uh, polluted water. As you can see, I use insulated uh, pi pipes within the steam room for the aqua tuner, and the room that has to be cooled down is uh, covered with radiant pipes. I have a little automation for set up for the aqua tuner. It's basically directly attached to this uh, liquid type thermo sensor. And the settings I use here is I activate the aqua tuner every time the temperature of the cooling liquid is above uh, 20 degrees. As you can see, because I'm using just one aqua tuner and also not the perfectly efficient super coolant. Uh, as cooling liquid, uh, the aqua tuna tuner can't, yeah, can't fully keep up with cooling down the room. As you can see, it seems that the temperature of the water is about, you know, let's say, 40 degrees at the bottom here. And that seems to be pretty much um, the lowest value it can do with just one aqua tuna. Of course, you could use, or you could add a second aqua tuna if you want colder water. Or, as I've already mentioned, uh, you could use better coolants. And I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. Basically, um, maybe one more thing to add. This process is not entirely uh, power positive, as you can see here. The aqua tuner is constantly running at 1200 watts, and the steam turbine is only creating about 400, 430 watts from it. So you basically have to add 800 watts to uh, create uh, water from it. Also, I don't directly um, pump the water out of this room. I've set up a little automation for this as well with the hydro sensor. I'm going to the second tile from the bottom and I only activate the pump when uh, there's a, f uh, a mass of 50 kilograms on this tile to be measured. So this way I give the cooling loop some time to actually cool down uh, the water before pumping it out at I think it's about yeah, 40 degrees. Yeah, if I think that's pretty much it for the explanation of this video here. If you have any questions please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you Also if you like the com uh, content please consider subscribing. See you next time.